Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. I'm Charlotte, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. I do lots of makeup content on this channel, so if you love hauls, reviews, swatches and unboxings, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And whilst you're down there, also switch on that notification bell so you're updated every time we upload. And today, yet again, we have another eyeshadow palette review and tutorial. And this one is from the La Roque Pro Cosmetics in collaboration with, I can't say, an Instagrammer, I can't say her name, Saskia. I'm probably saying it really wrong, Saskia. She's a very talented, beautiful makeup artist. She is so skilled. And this is their palette, the Lost in Paradise palette. So if you've seen her Instagram, you know she loves colour. She's very, she can do very technical looks, very beautiful looks. So when I saw them teasing this palette and then when I saw that it was going to be in collaboration with her, I had high expectations. And I know she worked, well, she's done a lot of looks with this brand before and she really enjoys their formula. And so obviously, as the title suggests, it's going to be kind of colourful, tropical vibes. So on the back it says, introducing the Lorac Pro, Lorac Pro, sorry, the Skier Field Lost in Paradise, Paradise eyeshadow palette. Get lost in paradise with this captivating hybrid palette that blasts the past Last past the ordinary with 25 buttery mattes, four pressed foiled pigments and three pop and shimmers. This palette will be ensure to transport you to a makeup paradise. So this is cruelty free, but I can't see that it says vegan anywhere. Don't believe it's vegan. So like I said, you get, you get 30 eyeshadows in here, but you also get two blushes and a highlight. And this costs $39.99, but I think we should just open this up. So it opens, whoop, not done very gracefully, opens up like this. You have eye, mirrors either side, and like I said, you've got like, I think it was meant to be like beachy themed, jungle themed, and then you've got the highlighter and blush in the middle. All, both blushes are shimmery as well, but they are really decently sized pans. Got a good range of colour. I love how you've got some deeper colours, brighter colours. You've got a little bit of everything. And you've also got your staple neutral colours down the bottom. So this mirror says palm trees and ocean breeze. And then this one says tropical life is hot. So I, th oh my word. I think we should get some swatches of this palette and then start doing a look. So we're going to start by swatching up the blushes and highlights. So we have the shade Feeling Peachy, Golden Hour and hula girl as you can see blushes have a lot of shimmer in them and i'm not sure if that highlight is going to work on my skin tone so here is the first half of our swatch this is the like jungle side all of these shades are done on my arm using my finger there is no base on them some of the shades i did build up a little bit just the bit of swatched but they felt they almost felt chalky and like you have to like press your finger in a bit then you get the pigment like there's like a layer on top almost but I don't know if that's just me being silly but the shimmers are stunning <laughs> absolutely beautiful yeah there's a nice you've got some deeper shades the black though that it's not the best as black it does definitely doesn't swatch the best as black in the world and then here we have the beachy side of the palette right these these four here one swipe, that was the first swipe, straight pigment. Hello, OD. Hi, doggy. How stunning. And those shimmers are absolutely gorgeous. I, like, looking at the palette, I thought I preferred the other side, but swatching them, I definitely am in love with this side. This is gorgeous. So, I want to use as many shades as I can from this palette. I have an idea, quite a colourful, rainbowy look, but never done anything like this before so we'll see how it goes <laughs> we'll see how this turns out but I'm quite I've never tried this eyeshadow formula before swatching it like just in my fingers the pigment is amazing the shimmers look so stunning so I've got I've got high hopes so as usual I'll do one eye on my cat on camera and I'll go off and try and recreate it on the other eye so I've already put a little bit of primer down but I just want to make my base a little bit tacky again before I start playing with the eyeshadows. So 
For this palette, I'm gonna use my P. Louise base, and this is 0.5. This is a Molly O'Brien MO21, and I'm gonna use the shade Jellyfish, and I'm gonna pack that just there. I don't know what to call that area. There. <laughs> That is pigmented. I barely, like, I didn't put any pressure on my skin at all. I just, like, tapped the brush on. And it is, it is so intense. That is such a gorgeous purple as well. So next, I'm going to use a PC47 in the shade Hibiscus and just blend around the edges a little bit. And that shade has applied absolutely beautifully. It's blended out really well. So big, it's so pigmented. This is a Morphe M441, and I'm gonna shade, take a bit of the shade Toucan and like kind of blend it. I'm gonna bring that this area a little bit and we'll start dragging these shades out a bit more over here. And then with that same Morphe M441, I'm going to grab the yellowy shade Canary and just blend that on. So I'm back. I've just gone through and built all my colours up. I must admit, when I first put them on, they applied pigmented. But then as I started blending them out, I kind of lost the pigment. But I've gone back through, built them up, and I'm now pretty happy with the pigmentation. Also, as a side note, you do get, I don't know if you can see that. There's a lot of bit of kickback in the pan. That doesn't really bother me, it's fine. Um, but I know it might, some people might not be so keen on that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like cut to make that line sharp there. And then we're gonna start playing with some blues and try to do a bit of a wing. Try, <laughs> try being the key word. <laughs> okay, so I'm back, I've just cut my crease. I'm pretty proud, I think I've done that. All right, all right, you know, it doesn't look too bad. Um, so yeah, I just cut it. I when I do cut creases, I get like a little cotton bud, just a makeup remover, and just gently grow across the line, and then fill it in with some eye primer again. That is <laughs> that's literally the only way I can do a cut crease. And I made sure I left a lot of space on my lid, so I went above my crease to kind of, kind of give the illusion of a slightly bigger lid. And I'm sorry, I didn't go all the way across because we're going to blend that yellow into a green in a little bit. <laughs> so this is just a random angled liner brush and I'm going to use the shade Marina, which is a deep blue, and use that to create a wing. And I'm rubbish at wings, so <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Next, I'm going to grab this Morphe E36 and the shade, right, I can't pronounce this. Curacao, Curacao, Curacao. It's the, it's the slightly paler blue next to Marina. And I'm going to use that to then blend around the edges of the blue wing. And I'm going to use a Morphe M562 and the shade Vitamin C and then blend that blue out further. So this is a Molly O'Brien M08. I'm going to shade, use the shade Bamboo to connect, sorry, to connect the yellow to the blue just there. I'm just going to go back through those shades, try blend out the shade Marina a smidgy more. By smidgy I mean quite a bit and then we'll be back to use some shimmers. So this is just a P. Louise cut crease, cut crease brush. I cannot get my words out. So this is just a little P. Louise cut crease brush and I'm going to use the shade Pink Sands and start packing that from my inner corner to like the centre part of my lid. <laughs> So I feel like that shimmer applied much better with my finger than it did with the brush. 
So I actually just took a bit of the shade Cheeky Tiki, that's it isn't it, and went through the shimmer and popped that along where my blue lash like blue line would continue and that kind of blended it into the other shimmer a bit. And uh, my eyelids look like they're, they look like they're wet. Such a beautiful, they're just gorgeous. So I'm going to use a Morphe JH40 and the shade Cacao, Cacao, and then run that over the lower lash line, connecting it up to my wing. Then with the PC47, I'm going to use the shade Aster and blend that. Okay, so this is first dye all done. I think it'll definitely look a lot better once I've got like base makeup and lashes on. But I'm quite proud of myself for doing something different, you know? <laughs> so I'm back and I was literally just about to put my blush on and I remembered there's blush and highlight in this palette. I was like, I've got to test those out too. So luckily I remembered because <laughs> I nearly forgot. Just as a, a quick thing, I've got the Be Perfect Stacey Marie TT lashes on again. I really love these lashes, but I have such issues with getting eyelashes to stick to my eyes. So if you know of any good eyelash glue and techniques, just doesn't, they don't want to work, they don't want to stick. Again, I've got a bit of a combination. So I've got Colourpop's Cool BFF Lippy Pencil. Beauty Bay's Smile Lipstick, and then this is the I Heart Revolution Cocoa Pebbles Betty Lip Gloss. And also I put a bit of Colourpop's Cream Co cream Gel Colour Eyeliner in the shade Prance and my waterline to try to add a bit more pop of blue. So this is a Morphe JH06, my favourite blush brush. And I'm going to use the shade Hula Girl, which is like the lighter of the two blush shades. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that blush. I think on the face, it's not as shimmery as it looks like when you swatch it, but obviously it's quite dispersed. But it definitely has a bit of glow to it. So on the other side, I'm gonna try the shade Feeling Peachy. That colour definitely is deeper than the other one. They've got very similar, you can tell that one's a lot more orange and this one's a lot more pink. But again, they've got that really beautiful glow to them. So I'm just gonna put a bit of each on each cheek again just to try mix them together. And now to test out this highlight. So I am a little bit worried that this highlight is gonna to be too dark for me. Um, but if it is, it is. I've got other highlights. I can use it as an eyeshadow no matter what. So this is PC17 and the highlight shade is this shade called Golden Hour. Oh yeah, it's definitely going too dark. So I feel like that blends in so lovely with the blush. Because it's all got that warm tone. It definitely shows up skin texture. I had a bit of a skin reaction not too long ago. And um Still got some texture on my skin and it's definitely showing that up, but it's nothing. I think on more medium skin tones, this is going to look gorgeous, absolutely lovely on them. So those blended lovely, they applied lovely, they were pigmented, very soft, so yeah. And then this is our look all finished, what do we think? Very colourful, I've been wanting to do something like this for a while. And this palette just seemed like the perfect opportunity to try to do something like this. And I'm quite, quite pleased with how it turned out. Cut creases aren't the same. Eyeliners aren't the same. But they never are on this channel, so you know. <laughs> All good. Maybe one day they will be. But today, definitely not that day. But what do we think about this palette? As the colours I've used are... They're pigmented, they're soft, they blend well. You do get kicked back in the pan, but to me, the the big pans, they don't bother me, it doesn't worry, like, no. So they're really easy to use. I feel like beginners might get on well with this. 
and it's the first time I'm actually trying this brand, I am very impressed. The shimmers are gorgeous. The ones that I used apply best with a finger. I feel like they're not like that putty texture. So, oh, some of them are verging on that sort of putty Beauty Bay Shimmer Formula Colourpop Super Shock Shadow texture. Some of them aren't. They're just the ones that are that kind of texture are better applied with a finger than a brush. But I didn't get fallout with them. They are stunning and I feel like my lids just look wet. It's just gorgeous. And as far as colours in this palette, I like how you have deeper tones that then go with some of the light ones that like you've got deeper blues and greens that will go with them and the reds and purples and like a black down there that all tie in with everything else. So you can, it's a colourful palette, but you can deep it, deepen it and smoke it out if you want to. And I think there's a good range. Oh, as you can see, I don't know if you can see, the highlight, the shimmers and the highlight and the blushes have kind of spread a bit though. I feel like there is a good mix between mattes and shimmers. I'm definitely someone who prefers to have more mattes in my palettes than shimmers, because then I can create a more detailed look and just add a pop in the middle. And it's just some gorgeous colour choices. I'm really, really impressed with this. And I think there's a lot of looks you can do, a lot of lighter looks, deeper looks, mix it up, colour, tones. So for 39.99, I think this is pretty good. I would I would recommend this. I think it's definitely good. If you've never tried that brand before, like I would, I feel like this is a really good palette to try out. And I'm so excited to do more looks with this and maybe recreate some of Saskia. I can't say it. Saskia. Someone please tell me how to say it. I feel so rude not being able to say it, but I just don't know how to pronounce it. Because um, I want to recreate some of the looks because the whole time I've been like looking at her Instagram and she hasn't listed what palette she'd been using and now she's like oh by the way it was this palette I just couldn't tell you what it was and there's so many looks that I wanted to recreate and I'm like well I've got the perfect palette to do that now I'm just excited and I also love the packaging I didn't mention it's like cardboard packaging but yeah I think that's everything from me today don't forget to check out my Instagram which is lottie underscore loves with two s's at the end I post makeup looks other bits on there really appreciate it if you check it out comment down below what do you think of this look? Have you tried La Roque Cosmetics out before? Do you want to try them out now? I'm pretty sure if you use the code 10 off and then off like in capitals, you get 10% off your first order. So just throwing that out there might be beneficial to you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on that notification bell so you're updated every time I upload. I hope you all have a lovely, lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye.